All right, good morning, everyone. Let's finish loading some 6.8 Western ammo, but this time with a new bullet. Uh, this is the Nosler 170 grain ballistic tip, and yeah, let's get to it. Uh, at a later video, I will report back on how these bullets do in my rifle, and it'll be more of an in-depth load review uh, for anybody that's looking at wanting to run the, the Nosler bullets. So this video is just gonna focus on pretty much how just to how I throw a charge and, and seating the bullet and checking the concentricity. All right, step one is throw a powder charge. I got the Lyman Gen 6 program for 60 grains and this is the H31 shortcut. I should say the H4831 shortcut, excuse me. Uh, while that's dropping some grains, I'm using the Saturn funnels. Uh, this is for 270, they're specific to the caliber and they pop right on and they make a nice fit so that way powder doesn't drip down um, around your case. That through 60 grains and we'll put that in here. Good. So we're shooting for a seating depth of 2.375 that's going to be the base to ogive with the 60 grains of this powder and I'll use that get that measurement using the uh, the comparator gauge from Hornady okay check our case once again this is an RCBS uh, seating die um, I've got it. I had it set up before the video. I uh, just wanted to do a test run of, of these bullets here. So I've got it set up. We'll just put our bullet in and run it up. Real smooth. Okay, let's check the base to ogive to make sure that we are consistent. And like I said, I'm going 2.375. And we're at 2.375. All right, we'll pull out the concentricity gauge. And this measures the concentricity of the bullet in regards to how it's seated um, in the neck. Okay, so this is seated in here. We're gonna zero out our dial, and then we can spin our bullet in here. That's one thousandth, one thousandth other way. So we're plus or minus, uh, so that makes it plus or minus one thousandth. And here's the bullet that I seated prior to making the video here. That one's just one thousandths out of the round. The other one was three thousandths. You go from the lowest one, which was minus one thousandth, up to plus one thousand, so one, two, so two thousandths. You got two thousandths out of the last one. This one's just one thousandths. I will check one more here. So right there, I'm about half a thousands out around. All right, so that's a pretty quick, just look at how I throw a charge and seat in the bullet. It's a hell of a lot quicker than uh, the brass prep that goes along with it. But even just using regular dies and uh, a good bullet and just taking your time seating it, you can get some really good concentricity numbers. Um, just with those three, you were seeing the max of a uh, 2000 set around. Uh, so not terrible. I did try a test in a previous video. I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but I kind of separated out um, concentrations from like one to three thousands and then like four to seven thousands just to see if there's an accuracy difference. And those were with the hammer bullets and I didn't see much of, a, uh, of an accuracy difference between the two. So um yeah so if you guys have any questions uh please let me know uh, in the comments below and like i said i'm gonna do some more load development with this and i'll report back on uh the numbers i get from extreme spread center deviations group sizes 
and uh, just how everything kind of goes with the uh, with the uh, nozzler bullets. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great uh, morning.